Okay, here we go. On a Toyota again with the IDIAC connected with the loop, this time without the extra power. And it's the same as the other engine 4E minus FE. Bulletproof engines. It's got 174,000 kilometers. I'm on here already with the IDR locked in. If you see at my previous videos, I'm already in the data pits. We'll see what we are. 850, I'll show you it's live. 2000. And you can see it takes a while to update. That's because the computer processes the data, sends it to my, to my dongle, sends it to my phone, and then it gets converted to whatever I see on the screen, so live data is live, but it's not not to be fully trusted at all times throttle opening, zero six percent so I don't know if you're gonna get a hundred percent here now too, too slow to update, ignition timing advance 10 degrees vehicle speed zero, cooling temperature 90 deg 93 degrees which is here, look halfway and it's almost at boiling point water boils at 100 newer cars even this one i'm expecting it to come on at 95 some of them go only come on at 99 degrees if you have a leaking radiator cap you're gonna have an engine problem and you will never see it here it'll just blow up Idle switch is on, oh, clutch is off because it's a manual. Ah, there we go, can you hear it? You can hear the fan, you can see the fan running. And we have, what do we have? Like I said, 95 degrees Celsius, 93, it just cooled down. Okay. And here we go, oops, halfway, that's what you see, it's so the driver doesn't get scared that you have 100 degrees water in your, in your engine boiling away there. Another thing I wanted to show you was, ah uh, yep, here we go, closed loop now, on my car with the dead oxygen sensor, it's open loop at all time, and you can see here, L2 sensor status, rich lean, rich lean. So this is confirming for me. I don't need to pull anything apart. This catalytic converter may or may not work, but the O2 sensor is working. And we don't have emissions in New Zealand, so as long as the O2 is switching, I'm, I'm actually happy to keep the fuel consumption down. I will have to ask him what sort of fuel consumption he's getting. And I was thinking of fixing my O2 sensor on my car to see what I'm getting with, with a working O2, but I don't know if it's worth it. It's doing 7 liters for 100 kilometers with it, just in open loop all the time anyway. Anyway, those are the extras that we get on the same engine, with a newer model and a working O2 sensor. Okay, thank you.